Hey you guys, I hope you are having an awesome day so far and I hope you guys had an amazing Easter as well. I hope it was fun. I kind of took the day off social media and just chilled with my family. I made um, ham and deviled eggs and potato salad and all kinds of stuff and just spent the day with my family and had a bit of a great day because I was definitely getting a bit just overwhelmed with trying to handle some different things. So I feel much, much better now. Unfortunately, my knee is still slightly injured, so I'm still a little bit limpy, but I'm doing better. I'm functioning better. I'm, I'm ignore my hair. It, 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 it's my hair. It's just doing its thing. Anyway, just before um, Easter weekend, my Sephora play box for April came in. So I wanted to go ahead and open this up today with you guys. So first up, I do apologize if you hear any noise in the background. We actually have a really sunny day today. It's our first sunny day in quite a while, so um, the neighbor kids are out playing. But... Sephora Play Box for April. We always kind of get these near the end of the month, but honestly, I don't mind at this point because they're never really month related. But anyway, they're still $10 a month, which is great, especially because they really haven't made any big changes to the box. You get your card with your 50 Beauty Insider points, which is good online or in stores. And then your little poster thing that they hand out that has information about all the products. To be honest, they could probably make this like a quarter of the size it is because um, I don't think anyone really pays attention to this. They could just make it like a little sheet and save the paper and you could fit all the information for the products on like a sheet like that big. Like save the trees here guys please. Anyway this month's theme is winning beauty so that tells me absolutely nothing. And here is our cute little bag. It's this little pinkish purpley color this month. I actually really like this color, so I think that's cute. I'm going to dump everything out. I need to clear some space because my desk is like covered with stuff today. Ooh, okay, I see a couple brands here like already. Awesome. All right, first up from Sephora, this is their Triple Action Cleansing Water with Matcha Green Tea Extract. I have actually never tried Sephora's micellar water, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm happy we got a Sephora product that was not a Sephora lipstick, so I'm very excited to try this. We get makeup removers in nearly every single box, um, but that's okay because honestly I will travel with these, so I just throw them in a little drawer I have and take these with me when I travel. Then next up we have a Clinique Mascara. This is their High Impact Mascara. Now this one, I know I've tried a double-ended mascara from them before that I wasn't a huge fan of. And I'm not sure if this was on the other end or not. Let me check. Okay, so I just double checked it and we have gotten this mascara before, but paired with a primer on the other end. I tried it with a primer and I didn't really like it when I tried it back then, but um, I will give this a shot again and try it out and see what I think of it. If I remember, I think this was a bit smudgy. I don't know. I try so many mascaras. It's hard to tell, but I do like this one. It's a traditional bristle wand, and I find that those are really, really good for my eyelashes. So I will definitely hang on to that and give that a try later. The next thing we got, would it be a Sephora Play Box without a primer? I don't think so. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Smoothing Primer, and I think I think we've gotten this before, guys. Yes, we have. We have gotten this before as well. This is another repeat. So that is two repeats in this box so far. You can tell I've gotten the Sephora Play Box for a really long time. I remember liking this, though. I think I like this primer a lot, actually. In fact, I think I used this all up. Let me check if I have it in my drawer. No, I'm pretty sure I've used one of these up before because it's... Yeah, that's a good primer. I can't remember. I believe this has some silicone in it. 
Let me check. I don't want to say that. Yes, this does have silicones in it, but it's very smooth. It's not super thick. It's really good for just a super light base. So I, I've used this a lot before and I like this one. So I don't mind getting a second one of this at all. This is one of those that's really good, especially if your skin's a little bit dehydrated and draggy that day, just to help make your makeup go on a bit smoother, especially if you're using like a heavier foundation. So I do like this. I'm happy to see that. And not ha necessarily happy to see so many duplicates, but all the duplicates you can get, I like that one. It's not bad. All right. Ooh. Always happy to see it, Glam Glow products. Now this is smaller than the typical um, like skincare product samples we get, which is a little disappointing. But this is the Glam Glow Good in Bed Passion Fruit Softening Night Cream. Allow skin refining acids to work while you sleep. It's a smoothing and exfoliating night cream. Okay, if we can do both at once, I am all for that. Um, that's probably why it's in such a small container because it's probably thicker being a night cream. Let me pop this open. Ooh, look at that color. It's like bright banana yellow. Ooh, and that smells good too. All right, I will say that that sample is pretty full, which is nice. And I will definitely give that a shot. It feels light. Oh, good. I don't like thick, heavy, like greasy night creams at all. I cannot stand them. This feels very, very light, which is nice. All right. Oh, I love that. That smell. So good. Love that smell. You guys know I'm all about like scents. Like if, if things smell bad, I'm just not about it. Another product, I'm very happy to see anything from um, Fresh. This stuff is excellent. Now I haven't tried this particular product before though. This is their Sugar Advanced Therapy Dream Sheer Pink Lip Treatment. It says it smooths the appearance of wrinkles and intensely nourishes for 24 hours with a sheer pink tint. Boosts moisture, enhances volumes, and improves the definition of the lip area. Okay, well, I am any for anything that is anti-aging, smoothing, plumping, pretty much make me look like a baby's butt, and we're good. Um, I like the sample size. It's, it comes in like a traditional tube instead of like the last sugar sample we got that was in a packet, which drives me nuts. This is in a proper tube. Oh, and it screws open. Cool. That way it won't just pop off in your bag. I love that. Nice, sturdy packaging. And we get a really large sample, which I like. And then I'm just going to swatch this on my hand. Oh wow, that is like super, super sheer. I don't even know if you can see it. I did it like right there. That's a really sheer pink. So I think that will be really, really pretty. It's probably not going to show up a whole lot if you have super pigmented lips like mine, but if your lips aren't that pigmented and you want a little bit of a pink tint, I think that would be excellent. And I will definitely be giving this a shot. Hold on, I need to smell this. Hmm. It smells kind of like fruit. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right, and for the last thing we got, we did not get a perfume sample this time, but I'm okay with the packets we got this time because it's from Alterna Caviar, which is one of my very favorite hair care brands that I've ever tried samples of from Sephora. This is their anti-aging restructuring bond repair shampoo and conditioner. It's supposed to strengthen damaged hair, proven to reduce hair breakage and split ends etc etc all right excellent i will definitely try this because even though my hair is not dyed anymore i don't dye it anymore and it's all my natural color my hair does tend to get damaged anyway from heat styling because of my texture is so weird now with it being half curly and half straight i have to like either completely straighten my hair or completely curl it i'm constantly using hot tools on it because i've tried the whole going with that hot tools thing and just letting your hair do its natural thing mm -mm, i cannot do that with my hair Ooh, i have tried it is a disaster no thank you so um anything that helps with damage especially if this will help with damage from hot tools i'm not sure but we'll see
All right, that is our whole Sephora play box. I'm going to go over what we got real quick. We got the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. We got the Clinique High Impact Mascara. The Makeup Forever Step One Smoothing Primer. The Glam Glow Good in Bed Softening Night Cream. And the Sugar Dream Advanced Therapy Sheer Pink Lip Treatment. My goodness, the length of these names. And the Alternate Caviar Restructuring Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. So probably the thing I am least excited about is probably the Clinique Mascara just because I have a feeling I didn't like this one the first time I tried it. And I'm just so picky on mascaras. And then probably my favorite thing this month. Okay, it's a tie between the Glam Glow Night Cream and the Sugar Lip Therapy. It's a tie, I can't decide. I cannot wait to try both of those. So do you guys get Sephora Play still? If you do, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you got in your box this month. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications as well. You guys can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere and all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.